All right, welcome back. My name is Pratesh with Kaizen Crypto bringing you another video. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at a recent update from Charles Hoskinson saying that May is gonna be a really busy month for Cardano. Also giving you guys an update, this is from IOHK. We've got some key dates to go over. May 11th is gonna be the release of the Shelly Haskell testnet for friends and family. So taking a look at that as well as Adascan. This is the wealth distribution for the Cardano ecosystem. So all of that is gonna be here in this video. Be sure to stick around until the end to get the most value, so stay tuned. All right, I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in today. To get things started, let's take a look at this article here. So recently, Charles Hoskinson came out with an update video saying that May is gonna be a really busy month for Cardano. So lots of interesting points that he made here in this article, talking a lot about some of the things that we're seeing with traditional systems, whether it's government, whether it's finance, and you know how this recent pandemic has definitely pointed out the weaknesses of the traditional system. So he's talking about blockchain and Cardano specifically and how this technology is gonna bridge that gap. Uh, so he quoted here, uh, instead, the point of this technology is to put everyone in the same playing field and allow people to live in a society that doesn't require them to hand their autonomy, power, and privacy over to central actors. So that's a lot of what we're seeing right now where you know, we're forced to stay in our homes and, you know, not go outside. We're not able to work if we're in a position where we're facing people. So a lot of these things we're seeing now are coming to light because of these recent events. Um, so very interesting to know his thoughts about that. Also talking a little bit about the marketing effort for Cardano. So the Shelly update is very highly anticipated. With this update, the Cardano Foundation, IOHK, Emergo are partnering with various companies to really ramp up the efforts to bring awareness around the product that they're building. Um, one of their marketing partners, most notably, is McCann. So they talked a little bit about that. And um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the points that were made here. The marketing itself needs to have two efforts running simultaneously. One to focus on getting the messaging and brand representation right for the broader public, and the other to focus on existing Cardano community. The thing both IOHK and McCann, the company tasked with Cardano's marketing, are figuring out is how to present Cardano so it's easy to understand what the platform is about without the need for a huge intellectual overhead. As there is a long way until Cardano's messaging is able to do this, it's important to focus on strengthening the existing Cardano community. With the right facts, experience, and messaging, the existing Cardano community can be turned into the largest marketing army any project can have. The first step in facilitating this is the launch of the friends and family testnet for Shelly, with a launch date set for May 11th. A select group of people with the knowledge of the network and expertise needed to improve it will be able to test it. So with this being said, according to Hoskinson, the actual launch of Shelly is going to be fast and smooth without overwhelming IOHK. When the huge wave of state pool operators flock to the newly launched Shelly and start asking questions and looking for advice, the community will be able to solve its own problems. So that is an incredible perspective for what they intend to build with this decentralized protocol. I think that this is truly gonna set the stage for decentralization. Um, me personally, I know I've had tremendous amounts of help from members in the community and you know these people know who they are. It's a, it's a great thing to be able to have people like that. Um, also, speaking of the marketing efforts being more so brought onto the members of the community, recently the Cardano Foundation launched phase two of their ambassador program. So I went ahead and submitted a ticket for that. I, I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know I am in the queue, hopefully, fingers crossed, to be declared a Cardano ambassador. So any support from the community is greatly appreciated. Moving on, what I wanted to show you guys here, this is a tweet from IOHK, found lots of value in this tweet, essentially giving a visual representation of what we're looking at as we go forward here with the Shelly Haskell testnet. Now, this is going to be rolled out in stages. Where we're at currently, so we're on the incentivized testnet, 
so we are currently here for stake pool operators you know we're still currently running on the rust code base we saw just recently in my last video I talked about the first Haskell block being mined. So that's exactly where we're at here currently. On May 11th, we're going to be experiencing the friends and family Haskell testnet. So what this is gonna do, it's allowing select few stake pool operators to go ahead and test the Haskell node, um, You know, work out the kinks, go ahead and get the basic infrastructure worked out. So that way we can get this Haskell testnet rolled over to the public so all stake pool operators are able to participate. The next step after that, so we're going to be experiencing a balance check. Whatever rewards that you've earned throughout the incentivized testnet, if you are a stake pool operator, if you've received tax, or if you're a delegate for uh, Cardano, if you've been delegating your ADA to a stake pool, the passive rewards that you've earned this entire time are going to roll over onto the mainnet. After this, we're going to experience a hard fork, and that's it. Then Shelly. So lots of things to be excited about here with Cardano. And guys, I really do appreciate you watching. If you are finding value from this video, be sure to drop a like for me. If you're new around here, click that subscribe button as well and hit that notification bell so you can get notified as these updates come out. Last little bit that I wanted to leave you all with here today. So this is the website called AdaScan. I'm gonna leave the link for you guys down in the description below. I think you all will find lots of value from this website. So here is a nice graphic showing some different metrics regarding the wealth distribution for Cardano. So very nice to be able to see this in a pie chart where we can see here the uh, share of total addresses and the balance that they're holding. So we can see majority of these addresses are holding about one to a thousand ADA. And then as we go up in quantity, we can see the size uh, in terms of percentage of total addresses goes down. So I thought that was kind of cool to look at. And one thing I find very cool or very curious, I should say, we can see here, right, we've got this little sliver, almost 1% of total addresses holding between a million and 10 million ADA. And if we check this out here, the share of ADA supply over 45% holding over 10 million ADA is where we see the share of the total ADA supply. So a lots of, lots of concentration here in terms of uh, ADA that's being held by these certain addresses. So I wanted to know what you guys think about that and how it relates to decentralization. Uh, you know, whether or not these addresses are held by IOHK or Emergo or the Cardano Foundation, whether they're um, early investors in the Cardano ICO, I think that it's very curious and it should be something that we consider as we go forward into Shelly. You know, we, we have to consider more of the decentralization aspects of the blockchain. So I just wanted to point that out and get some feedback and some thoughts from the community. Let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments section below. How is this going to affect decentralization? Um, and also we can see here other cool things to take a look at, share of ADA supply. So we can see here as well, got a nice visual representation of that. And then this share of total addresses. So guys, go ahead and check that out. I think you'll really enjoy it. And then next thing I wanted to show you guys, so this right here, just a little thing that's on the website I found pretty interesting. You can actually check your own rank. So let's say if you are a holder of ADA, I put in the 100,000 because I think it's a nice even number to work with. Uh, it's just an arbitrary number, but you can see your rank in terms of percentage. So if you hold 100,000 ADA, you're within the top 9% of hodlers. So really nice to see that. I think that this is very informational. So if you do hold ADA, go ahead and check out this website. I think you'll find lots of value from it. So guys, that is what I have for you all here in this video today. I definitely do hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you did find some value. Again, be sure to drop a like for me on your way out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.